my channel. Today I have a monthly March message for all of the Virgos out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Virgo out in the collective. So I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I am a psychic intuitive, a spiritual coach, and a sound healing practitioner. So without further ado, Virgo, let's go ahead and dive right into your monthly message. So Virgo, we are starting out with serendipity. Ooh, look at that. Lots of luck, signs, and synchronicities popping in for you. Divine matrix. We just had that with Leo. Um, okay, so this is means um, really manifesting, okay, and repairing the veil, forgiveness. Okay, all right. So here's what I'm seeing for you here, um, Virgo. I feel like you're getting a lot of signs. Um, maybe you feel really lucky. There's a lot of synchronicities that are sort of popping up for you this month. And I want you to understand that um, the, the serendipitous moments are really meant for you to enjoy, okay? Now, with the Divine Matrix... What this really represents is this is the realm of spirit. It's about that. It's about learning to trust how things unfold. Uh, the, sort of when I see this, it's almost like like saying you have to learn to trust the process and and co partner with the divine matrix, but also re understand that there is divine timing, right? Um, repairing the veil forgiveness. This is really about, um, understanding that the more energy and effort that we put into, um, trusting, um, the more we repair anything within our veil or within the veil of our reality is how we sort of, sort of stitch it all up and it all sort of comes together. Okay. Now, the other thing I kind of get with repairing the veil is that there's a lot of generational trauma, ancestral trauma that I feel is being healed here. But I want to point out that this is coming to an end. I feel like you're in the final stages of that. Um, and again, it's really about sort of seeing how everything has led you to this point, right? So I feel that right now in this moment, Virgo, you are in a place where you are needing to trust the process. It might not make sense to you. And it might feel like you've been at this for a long time. Because trust me, I'm a Virgo. And I feel like I've been at this game for a long time. And I feel like I, I, I almost feel like when is the end going to be evident, right? But I want to point out that everything has led you to this point. And I feel that you're at the final stages of just wrapping everything up because that new life is about to fully blossom for you. Um, so I feel with the Divine Matrix, it's really about allowing things to be what they are for when they are, right? Like not trying to rush the process, but just allowing it to be what it is. So let's go ahead and dive into the tarot here, Virgo. Let's see what we can add to this already beautiful message for you. So we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, great. This is about um, our emotions and our intuition. It's about truly allowing our intuition to guide us and to be in alignment with that. And I, I do feel that Virgos, uh, Virgos really do, you know, uh, coincide with this, but I feel that it's important for you to be in balance with your emotions. Um, I feel that ultimately it's really about being in balance and, continuing to wish upon, you know, a wish fulfillment or to believe that you can have that wish fulfillment, right? Um, I feel like a lot of times we all, oh, we got two cards here. Okay. So we have the nine of wands and reversed with the ace of wands. Okay. That's interesting here, Virgo. It's at the bottom, the hangman. Okay. 
All right. So we have the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Tower, the Queen of Swords with the Nine of Wands in reversed and the Ace of Wands. So here's kind of what I feel for you this month, um, Virgo. I feel that you've been going through a lot of change. And the change that you have been going through has been very foundational, right? It sort of set the pace for where you are. And it's sort of laying a very solid foundation for your future, okay? I feel that ultimately you've gone through a lot of ups and downs emotionally. And I feel like you've also celebrated a lot of wins. You've um, seen a lot of things come to fruition that have made you very happy and has made you feel like you're very lucky, right? And this is a beautiful thing. But I want to point out that whatever changes occur between now and the next three months, understand that it is a part of the process because you, it's right underneath divine matrix, right? So understand this is meant to happen. Don't get caught up in it emotionally. Try to see it from the perspective of your guides and your angels, um, whatever this change is that's coming down the pipeline. And recognize that, you know, whatever transpired had to happen that way. It absolutely had to happen that way um, because it was meant to cut out all of the things that are not a part of this new foundation that is being laid out for you, okay? Now, with the Nine of Wands in reversed with this Ace of Wands here, what I'm really seeing is that I feel that you're exhausted at this point. You you ultimately feel like all of your work has been done in vain, right? Because I feel like, uh, in me especially, because I am a Virgo here, I do feel like I've been working at this for such a long time that I'm like, I'm just tired of it, right? But don't allow your exhaustion or what you have given up defeat you or deplete you to the point that you you give up on your hopes and your dreams, right? Because understand that things will inevitably get worse before they get better, right? And and I had this conversation not too long ago with my wife when I something transpired between us and I had told her I said, you know, I often have found in my life that when I'm experiencing something really good and I'm in a really good place and I feel like I'm at the end, right? And then bam, I get sideswiped with something else and I get so discouraged because I feel like I've worked so hard to get to where I am and I feel like I'm being tested all over again, right? And I feel like I'm constantly having to work towards repairing something from the past um, and it sort of knocks me down a few, but I, I realize right away that when I can see it from a different perspective, when I can see it from an enlightened perspective, seeing it through the eyes of my angels and my guides, I recognize that I've grown so much and there's so much that I have learned along the way that it has led me to the ability to be able to see it from their perspective and be passionate about it. And then I get excited about the change and then I start working towards it and I start building that more solid foundation. So I feel Virgo, what this is really saying for you is that this is what is transpiring. It's about recognizing that you still have purpose. There is still passion within you. Don't allow the setbacks or the change to hinder you from celebrating these wins because it's just leading you. It's just building a more solid foundation for your future. So let's go ahead and dive in some more. Let's see. The other thing I wanted to point out that I saw here with this Queen of Swords and repairing the veil is that, you know, when you are healing ancestral trauma or generational trauma, there's a lot of things you're having to cut out that you yourself are having to change in your life. And that can be very challenging because sometimes we grow emotionally attached to certain things, certain people. And it's hard. And I can tell you from 
my own perspective, I recently had to cut someone out of my life that I knew back in high school and I had grown very fond of him, but the relationship um, was getting to be very judgmental in a way and I had to cut it out. So sometimes that can be very challenging, right? You get pulled at the draw, you know, at the emotional drawstrings because you're like, but I've known him for such a long time. I didn't really want to do this, but this is about honoring you. Okay. You have the three of materials here, which is the three of pentacles. I feel that, you know, when you are in tune with your emotions, when you are in tune with your intuition, you will recognize right away what it is you're going to need to work towards, what you're going to build, the, what, what is actually going to come about. Um, and that's what this three of materials is. The three of materials is progress. It's working towards something. And I feel that a lot of times we don't recognize that. Sometimes when we're taking action towards something or we're doing something, we feel like nothing's happening. But in reality, it's actually creating something beautiful and something magnificent. We're just not seeing it that way. Next, we have the seven of inspiration, which is the seven of wands. This is about, this is about standing your ground. Okay. And I feel that whatever change comes about, um, it's going to feel like it's going to test you. I'm not going to lie. It's going to test you and it's going to make you feel like someone's taking advantage of you. Um, cause you, you could just got the five of, of voices, which is the five of swords. Now you have the six of cups with the ace of emotions, which is the ace of cups. Okay. So Virgo, here is what I'm going to say to you. Okay. Understand that this change, okay. Is meant to happen as I mentioned, right? Understand that it's, that it's meant to happen for a specific reason. And I feel that what you're ultimately needing to remember is that you're not understand that the, this isn't about winning at all costs. It's about seeing things very clearly. And it's about understanding that whatever choices that you make, whatever you build, you have to stand your ground. Not everyone is going to agree with what you do, what you say, or how you um, live your life. But when you can see them through the eyes of love and you can let them go, okay? When you can let them go with an open heart um, and not be threatened or challenged by their disagreement, um, you'll be able to really build something that much more magnificent. The one thing about the seven of wands that often stands out to me is about standing in your own power, right? I feel like a lot of times we have a lot of individuals, a lot of conformity, like people want us to fit into this mold, right? But the thing is, Virgo, I feel like you're not meant to fit in this mold. You're meant to stand out. You're meant to sort of embrace your inner child and embrace who you really are and allow that to truly, sh you know, shine forward here with this nine of emotion, um, six of emotions, which is the six of cups. It's really about, you know, looking at past influences in your life. You know, maybe it's, you know, inner child stuff that you're needing to repair, right? Acknowledge. Maybe you have an inner child that needs to be loved, that needs to be nurtured. Maybe you have younger, you know, siblings, or maybe there are younger, you know, nieces and nephews or grandchildren, wherever that you're needing to sort of embrace, right? And I, when I say embrace, it's that I feel a lot of times, there are certain things that we grow nostalgic to that we need to sort of re reflect upon, right? With the ace of emotions, the ace of cups, this is about your cup if being full. It's about your cup being full and it's and it spilling over. And I feel that Virgo ultimately, um, don't allow your discontentment with where you are or how fast things are moving 
um, to stop you from enjoying life and from enjoying the splendor and the wonder and the excitement of what it has to offer you. Because you're ultimately going to miss a lot of the beautiful things that life has to show you um, just by experiencing life. You know, experiencing the challenges help us grow. It helps us become more aware of who we are and where, what areas it is that we need to ultimately find balance in. So Virgo, I feel that this month, it's really about you trusting the process, trusting where you are, um, embracing where you are and continuing to be patient um, I feel that one of the biggest things with the hangman is about um, sacrifice. But the one thing I definitely learned the most about the hangman is that the hangman itself represents a part of our lives where we're not only seeing things from a different perspective, but we're needing to sort of understand it at a deeper level. You know, I feel sometimes with the hangman, it's about really waiting, but it's truly about enlightenment, right? We're coming to this understanding of where we are in life. And it's about clearly finding the balance of where we are, because I feel like when we when we are resisting where we are, we lose our footing, we lose our balance. So this month, it's really about you finding balance in light of the, ch the change that is transpiring in your life. Because Virgo, you are making some massive changes. So Virgo, this is your message this month. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Bye guys.